Meantime, both the state of California and the Department of Public Health, along with Governor Gavin Newsom, have stopped providing daily intensive care unit capacity data to the public. Those numbers were being used to decide whether regions will remain under the governor's stay-at-home orders. 17's Ashley Zavala is in our Capitol Bureau tonight with this follow-up report. Before Friday, it had been a week since California health leaders last provided specific ICU capacity percentages. The key data point Governor Gavin Newsom's administration has said would help determine which regions remain under his mandated stay-at-home order. State leaders have said regions with projected ICU capacity greater than 15 percent would be eligible to get out of the order. But all week, the state would not provide the numbers, only writing an email updates vaguely saying three regions, the Bay Area, Southern California, and San Joaquin Valley, remain under the order. Their four-week ICU capacity projections do not meet criteria to exit. After the order was suddenly lifted from the greater Sacramento region last week, I asked the recently appointed director of California's Department of Public Health why the state stopped updating the numbers regularly. He would not say specifically why, but went on to list off all the ways ICU capacity data is being used. We realize is that we're confusing people more by putting all these metrics up there. So we're, we're we're, we're trying to come up with a way, to, we're, we're going to come up with a, a, a sheet that just explains all the different ways the ICU capacity are used. Um, I, I hope that explains most of it because it gets her, it took me, it took me several weeks just to, just for me to understand it. Now a week after this interview, we still haven't seen an explanation. It just embodies so many things that have gone wrong with our state's COVID-19 response. Republican you know, you know, State Assemblyman Kevin Kiley. You know, constantly shifting uh, set of metrics. You have uh, really an insult to the public saying, oh, this is too confusing for you to understand. I'm wondering if there is any kind of legislative effort to possibly have an oversight hearing or, or something of that nature. I'm now finally starting to hear talk of something like that being put together. I mean, 10 months into this, although that's still in, in talks at this point. I've been arguing since the very beginning that the legislature needs to be a co-equal partner. I reached out to Governor Newsom's office for comment, but have not heard back. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.